hapa Kenya. Here in Kenya, I work with the Meru County field team. Our initial training is for a core group of 10 lead farmers who are democratically selected by their communities. They, in turn, train another 10 farmers from their local community. Our training is entirely hands-on and field-based. Our farmers do not learn efficiently in classrooms. This farming method saves me so much time. My production costs are less than half of what they used to be. In conservation agriculture, there are three methods to create permanent planting stations. Hoe, animal draft power or ADP, and tractor-drawn Ndumie Ripper. All three methods are precise and break the hard pan created by continuous overall cultivation. Conservation agriculture gives me time to work on other ways to improve on my economic status. I have more than doubled my yield, so using conservation agriculture is really something to boast about. Having witnessed the benefits that conservation agriculture gives farmers, Pafid would like to extend the programme to farmers in the more marginal agroecological zones in eastern Kenya. Conservation agriculture would help farmers in these areas to attain food security and to improve their economic and social status. <laughs> <laughs>